All right. So uh, here's how we're going to start today's session. You all are coming from different walks of life. You've never met each other before this day, except okay. for the lawman. The lawman, you guys know each other. Everybody else, you have no idea who the people who have showed up are. All of you are currently seated in some rundown bar. Um, oh, we got a sub. Who subbed? Uh, Anon Soup, thank you for the gifted sub. Hey. Giving it to Bubble Lover. Thank you so much. Uh, where was I? Yes. So all of you are in so what is essentially a dive bar. Uh, you've been asked to come here uh, to do what is essentially a face-to-face -face meeting with a Mr. Johnson. Now, for those who aren't in the know, uh, a Mr. Johnson is basically an anonymous sort of task giver that uh, has you do various things that are less than legal or things that the normal corporate security couldn't do if you get my meaning. Okay. So you're all kind of sitting at the same table. It's kind of awkward. The and law are exchanging funny <laughs> jokes with one another that the other rest of you are not quite getting. <laughs> it's just awkward in general. <laughs> But uh, as uh, we sort of look at this table in this dive bar, I thought we might just uh, very briefly uh, see if anybody had uh, anything in particular they'd like us to note about their character. Uh, so let's start from the bottom up. Uh, that trill. Uh, is there anything we should know about your character in particular? Uh, I'm going to say uh, she's very tall. Okay. Um, and she's she almost seems like almost ethereal in a way. She's very white, sort of like platinum blonde hair, very pale skin, not a, doesn't do a whole lot of makeup. She just sort of is very quietly just examining the sort of <laughs> nonsense going on in front of her and just thinking, ah, it's a living. Mm-hmm. All right, Strom, tell us a little bit about uh, Law. Um, the and Law are ma ma uh, wearing matching uniforms. Big patch says Law on it. Same with the. Uh, Law likes to keep his helmet uh, buckled to his side, like maglocked to his belt, um, mm -hmm. while uh, he likes to very prominently, you know, walk around with his shotgun, like at almost like a parade rest at all times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, Kay, what about your character? Um, M is like, uh, this, the, the exec is like, I'm, give me a moment. I think mm -hmm. what he, lo he, lo he looks, he, he's a, uh, hold on. Yeah. He's Take got like time. painted nails. And uh, and like about like and like almost a bob haircut, but he's very visibly, but he's still very much a dude. Mm -hmm. And like I think his his sort of attire is like, but his attire is like flashy, is like a flashy suit, not well, not flashy, but like brightly colored, probably a probably like a lavender suit. Okay. And uh, and specifically, I'm saying black shoes because if I give him white shoes, that would be. Remind me of a different character and make me upset. <laughs> fair, fair. I have a, I have a very important question. Uh, what color is the hair? If you said it, I missed it. I did not say the color of the hair. Uh, I, I think it's like, sort of like, I think it's um, like half green, uh, like half green, bottom half green, top half white. Okay, interesting. And it fades into the green. Interesting. I love it. All right, Soup, uh, tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, my character is very obviously has tattoos. Mm -hmm. They're all over the body, and they are generally tiger-themed. Okay. And red. He very, uh, he very much looks Asian. Mm-hmm. And he seems to constantly twitch a little bit, looking looking out the windows as expecting someone to try and shoot him. 
It's a fair mindset to have in the cyberpunk universe. And then uh, last but not least, Wolf, tell us a little bit about uh, the... He wears a helmet, so all you can see is his upper lip, and he constantly has a scowl on it, and then he's got a mm. really clean-cut beard. And every time Law makes a joke, you see him go, ha. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. That's it. That's all you that. get out of him. He just looks angry the whole time. I'd also like to point Love out that, that every time the makes a joke, Law goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Has anyone ever oh. told you to that your face will stick like that? Very my mother used to tell me that all the time so before I threw her in prison. Yeah, she broke the law. Charming. Oh, I love it. Let me just answer this question. Uh, Lunatic, I usually um, are streaming at around 9 p.m. on the the uh, the evenings. But uh, yeah, if you just drop a follow, uh, which you already have, yeah, so you should get notifications when I stream. But uh, have a good one, Lunatic. But uh, back to the game. Um, what I would say is as this little bit of banter goes on, uh, what you realize is that it started raining outside, which, you know, normally rain wouldn't be a problem. But in Cyberpunk Red, in what is known as the Time of the Red, the rain isn't normal rain. Um, it is actually this sort of blood red color that stains and ruins everything. And the reason for that is because, well, to put it simply... Uh, there was recently a uh, corporate war that involved uh, orbital bombardments, that involved nukes going off. Basically, there's so much dust and other particulate in the sky that, well, when it rains, it rains red. And it's a problem because, at least as far as I've figured, none of you came here in a vehicle. You sort of walked here. So the fact that it's raining, that's no bueno. We're going to need a ride. Look, just look outside. The sky is bleeding again. Who's got transportation? Oh. We're beat cops. We don't got a car. You're right. That's unfortunate. Girl. <laughs> uh, I, I lean we towards the to see this, Mr. Johnson? Sorry, say again, Kay? Shouldn't we wait to see this Mr. Johnson? Perhaps he'll have a vehicle for us. No, it's a crime to be late to a meeting. I look over at Law. <laughs> that and we punish crimes. I, do. I I can attest that that is not actually a crime. I'm sorry, are you the uh, expert on the law? Yeah. Who died and I... made you two experts? The law did. <laughs> What, was there a man named the law that I singularly failed to find out about who died and said, my sons, I W you the and law. Carry yes. on my great noble. It was our father. Uh, uh, I'm so okay. sure. I am so sure. We're related. My, I do not understand. How do these two function? I don't know. I think that's the mystery. We follow the letter of the law. Can you spell that? T H E law. <laughs> oh my god. Of course we can spell it. It's on our name tags. Can you spell it without? Me? Of course I can spell it without. But you don't give the interrogations. We do. We're the law. <laughs> You don't give an interrogation, you perform an interrogation. Semantics. We give them. Uh, oh my god, I don't want to interrupt this, but I have to because we have a schedule to keep. <laughs> She's just completely uh, unimpressed with these two. Oh my god, this is That's the correct response. <laughs> Pure really skull is. underneath the mask. I, I, think deal, I think dealing with the Yakuza is less confusing than these two. Amen. You're dealing with the Yakuza, they break the law. We can fix that. Please don't. They're the most attractive guys in the city. It's but right about that. But you're going down, we're in a public area. Isn't that against the law? 
Uh, we are the law. We are the law. <laughs> oh my god. It's right about then that uh, the door chimed uh, jingles and you all instinctively look over at the door and walking in uh, with an umbrella that they don't even bother shaking off. They just sort of uh, let the water spill onto the floor very unceremoniously uh, is a bald gentleman um, that could best be described as almost like Hitman himself. A uh, very tailored black suit, uh, white shirt, red tie, uh, looks very serious. Uh, he is wearing uh, also aviator shades, and his head just sort of scans, you know, moves as he scans the area. He sees you five, walks over to your table, doesn't even bother confirming who you are, and simply says, I apologize for the delay. The rain caused a wreck up the street, and I wasn't about to leave my vehicle somewhere that it would get towed. I didn't know that they could tow fighter jets, Top Gun. <clears throat> hmm. You could tow You're anything. funny. I like that. Well, you'll find this job even funnier. You all know of uh, Channel 54, yeah? Of course. Mm. Who doesn't? Hmm? Our father was interviewed on Channel 54 a decade ago. Decade ago. Uh, I, I'm just going to put my hand up for the law to st- <laughs> both of them to stop. You do what you want with them. Mr. Johnson actually kind of scoffs and says, ah, well, that doesn't surprise me. Channel 54 will interview any schmuck that they can con into coming on air. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> surprise me oh, in God. the slightest. Anyways, the reason I'm mentioning Channel 54 is let's just say they're going to hold a fancy, oh, look at us, it's Christmas Day, and it's it's a turkey dinner. And I'm not talking like that shitty synth turkey. I'm talking real, actual meat turkey. Where did they get that? that I don't know, but your job is to make sure that they don't get that turkey. Sounds illegal. So, if I am to get this straight... You're asking us to ruin Christmas. I am asking you to ruin Christmas, yes. We well, call I don't us the Grinches. In. Count me in. Well, I don't even believe in Christmas, so let's do it. You're all terrible people. It's a good thing we ruined Christmas for dozens of time. Yeah. What? Well, so can we just ignore them? <laughs> <laughs> no, you unfortunately, I've you called you all. Ignore the law. Unfortunately, I've called you all together because, well, I think you're the best for what needs doing. And uh, it's at this that he actually pulls out his agent and he sort of slides uh, his finger across it, sending the data to all of your phones. And I actually have a map for this. Uh, So give it a sec to load in roll 20. And then you should be able to freely move about it. Uh, For the stream, folks, I'm going to do my best to move it around as things are relevant. But uh, Mr. Johnson explains, uh, this is Channel 54's uh, main office in Night City. Oh, sorry, it's Network 54, not Channel 54. Mm. Um, Network 54's office is... Well, to put it bluntly, it's no Arasaka office, it's no Militech office, but it's still pretty fancy. Uh, you're going to need to somehow get past the security checkpoint at both doors, uh, get inside, identify where they're keeping the turkey, where they're having the quote-unquote televised uh, display, and then you need to not only steal the turkey, uh, but you also need to make sure that a certain message is played in lieu of their broadcast. I have sent the details to all of your agents. We will okay, not be well, can, I, can we see the mess? Can we see the message already, or not yet? Uh, no. All you oh, see is guess. when you look at your agent, uh, it is encrypted and it is time locked, meaning it will only unlock when a certain time comes. Hey, Law, do you remember Philadelphia? I remember Philadelphia. We I lost think we're gonna a- have to do that again. I think so. We lost a dozen agents then. We won't lose anybody this time. Wait, hold up. Wait, what? <laughs> you... <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> what? When did you two get out of the asylum? <laughs> Three days 
ago. <laughs> wow, you've been across the country and back real quick. We travel light. All we need is the law book. You chose he, he pulls out a book that just says the on it. And I imagine that law pulls out one that says law. <laughs> Even Judge Dredd They're would empty, find you way, two a like bit. Pages. <laughs> Even Judge uh, Dredd would find you two over the top. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Great. I'm going to look at Johnson and state, mm -hmm. you chose these two. Listen, they might be whack jobs, but they're good at what they do. We graduated top of they our class. I didn't real. <laughs> I'm going to stop making jokes eventually, but now is not that time. Anyways, since we're apparently at the part where I tell you how much I'm paying you, let's just say that uh, you do this job right. You're not going to be eating kibble out of a cargo container. You're going to be eating, uh, well... Not only are you going to get the turkey to eat, but uh, let's just say your next few months, it's going to be it's going to be well taken care of. Hmm. Think of how much crime we could stop. With all that cash. Hmm. I accept. Eh, I have nothing better to do. Yeah. At this point, I'm tired of living inside of a cardboard box, hoping that the rain doesn't kill me. He had me at ruining Christmas. <laughs> well then, you have the details. You're to contact me on this number when your job is finished. And um, don't screw this up. You only get the one shot. Make sure you do it right. You only need one shot. <laughs> Please don't make us go with them. And at this, Mr. Johnson just kind of reaches out, pats your shoulder, and Please. then turn and exits the bar. Wait, we need your car. And he doesn't even give you the time of day. He's already out into the rain. Oh, we've made a terrible mistake. I kind of have the... <sighs> Look, when I say I want to be stained with blood as part of my job... I don't mean from literally the sky. I mean from the people I'm killing. Incoming transmission. Oh. oh. Okay, I thought they were crazy. Now I'm thinking you're crazy too. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Uh, well, look, have I been saying the same shit they've been saying? No, but you just said you wanted to be coated in your enemy's blood. You don't? No! Huh. It's I suppose crazy is relative. He rolls his eyes. Liberate. He's he. I feel like he's been through. He like he's he's one of these. He's one of the execs that are hi, that is like hired regularly for jobs like this, and he's seen a lot. So he's just like, this is this is this this may be bad, but I've but I've seen about as bad. <laughs> I, I, I'm worse, actually gonna worse. look. I'm actually gonna look at the corpo and be like, please, please say something that assures me that you're sane. <laughs> Uh, and in response, and uh, I think M says in res in response to that look that uh, let's get to work. We have some evidence to take. All right. Yeah. So I have two very important questions. One, what sort of legwork are you going to be doing? And two, are you going to wait for the rain to stop? So well. here's my thought. And I'm going to turn to the law and be like, sounds like we should reconnoiter some wheels. And I'm going to go find the closest person that looks like they have a car and be like, I need this. Okay. So um, looking at your skills, uh, I don't think you have anything that would let you hotwire a car, but let me just double check. I think he's That's... going to walk like up to somebody. Yeah, like a person be like, hey. The law needs your car. Oh, I see. I see. <clears throat> of course. So why don't you, and I guess this is the first official roll of the one shot. Why don't you roll me a persuasion, please? I don't know how to do that. Uh, if you go to the skill tab it. of the character sheet. Yep. I guess it would help if I showed the stream. Probably. And 11. So here's what happens. 
you go outside the you get soaking wet you find the nearest passerby on the street you say where the fuck is your car or something they're equivalent thereof <laughs> so polite <laughs> and the person not only flips you the bird but uh shoulders past you and continues on their way i deserve that <laughs> yes you did <laughs> I walk back inside. I couldn't get a car. Wow. I'm so shocked. I tried. Indeed. Do you think you can do any better? I'll try. All right. So you step outside. I'd like you to roll me a persuasion. All right. Uh, let me go over to my skills. Uh, persuasion is under social skills, correct? Correct. Good. I have uh, I have two in persuasion. So how am I putting this in here? Just uh, you should just have to click that little mm -hmm. dice icon next to it, and it oh. should automatically roll for you. Okay, let's do that. Ooh. A seventeen. Yeah. So you know, you step outside and you find not the same guy walking by, but you find a different guy. May I? And. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but you have an actual an assault rifle, do you not? Wait, what? Uh, if you look under your combat tab, it shows what weapons you have. Oh, is that where that was? Rifle. Okay, I didn't realize that I had these. I was looking under gear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I have an assault rifle strapped to my back, but um, I'm going to just try and look as pitiful as possible without it. Okay. Just... So, when you ask the gentleman for keys, how do you oh, go about I'm not it? Doing I'm doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm going to be like, sir, excuse me. I, my, my weapons are out of ammo. I'm, I need to, I need to get back to my place. Could you take me to your car, please? And uh, the gentleman just sort of looks you up and down and goes, well, aren't you a tall drink of water? Yes. And aren't you a handsome, strapping gentleman? Well, um, I mean, this is the part where I say, well, this is this is my lucky day. But um, I have good news and bad news. Which would you like first? I guess the bad news. Bad news? I drive a compact. And I'm not talking like a, a compact. I'm talking a compact compact. Like the old smart cars? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I almost turned around and just went, y'all are riding on the roof. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That blew him up in my face. I was going to just seduce him and steal his car. See, so you walk back into the bar, also soaking wet. Well, that sucked. Yeah, not so easy, is it? You know what? I'm just... I'm just going to see if I can manage. I'm not even going to try to talk so I'm going to try to... Actually, uh, I'm going to look at the... Ex our uh, corpo and say, do you know any way to hotwire a car? What skill would that be? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I would say that this would probably be some form of... Drive land vehicle? Land yeah, vehicle I could say drive land vehicle or perhaps a basic tech would apply here. There's a land vehicle tech as well. Yeah, yeah there is a land vehicle tech. Many things could apply here. Love variety. Yeah, basically, I would say roll whichever one uh, suits your fancy. I'm just asking if they have it. I don't have any uh, extra skills, if that's what uh, extra proficiency, if that's what you're asking. Okay, so we'll be stuck at. Mm. Well, we can always walk through the rain. It's uh, a really pain in the ass. I'm going to slap my hands on the table, get up, and look to see if there's any umbrellas. Well, 
again, I have good news and bad news. Which would you like? Good <laughs> bad news first. Bad news. That umbrella is pretty tiny. Meaning it's not even going to cover one of you. Oh. And is it, is it for a child? Why is it so tiny? Oh, yeah. It's it's for a kid. Like, oh, this okay. is like a toy umbrella. Oh, oh okay. Unfortunate for the kid. <laughs> no, I'm not that evil. Uh, at that point, I'm just... Actually, has anyone left their jacket? Out. Uh no, there is no like coat rack on the door near the uh near the door. Um definitely looks like this is the diviest dive bar you've been in a while. So everybody's pretty much keeping to themselves, keeping their items close to them. I right, have a question out of character. Yes. Uh, what's the damage that the rain would do to us? Like I mean, it's not gonna actually do damage to you. It's just gonna cause you to have to later on, like soak your clothes and have to get all the red out of it you know what coming transmission if we're red then the enemies can't see us bleed i will say that in character to law <laughs> that's a good I, idea right? i'm choosing to ignore the two psychopathic lawmen and just getting up and walking to our destination i'm following him i cannot with these two that you falling after the after the after the sane gr- sane crew. Okay. It's like being on the beat again. Yeah. We, we need to have just find you two. We don't need him now. <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> where? <laughs> you guys walk for about 20 30 minutes. The good news is that this dive bar is actually pretty close to network 54. And uh, when you emerge uh, around the block and you start to round the front of the building, uh, what you see is that it is actually a four-story affair. Um, it seems to be one of the better uh, one of the buildings in better repair uh, in this area. And what you're noticing is that there is sort of a vehicle blockade um, that is sort of that red part. We use. <laughs> a tool that will actually show up on stream. So you see this, oh God, no, that's a bad color. Let's try this color. So you see these barriers here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically what that is, is it is a vehicle barrier as well as a tech scanner. And as you can see, there's two tech scanners, these sort of black uh, objects here. Now the problem is unless you hop the vehicle barrier, Um, You're going to have to go through a tech scanner, which means any weapons you're carrying, uh, anything of tactical significance is going to get caught by this scanner. And even from the street, uh, you can see that there is at least four Corpsec um, that are watching from... uh, up a level on the stairs. So when you enter enter into the building... um, you go up a flight of stairs after the checkpoint Mm -hmm. and then you're in the main building itself. Um, So it's one of those kind of like faux first floor things, if that makes any sense, where the street level isn't quite the same as the first level. Um, But what you're noticing is that in the grand lobby behind the Corpsec individuals, um, there seems to be some form of a holiday gathering um, there's all manner of uh, Christmas themed tinsels and fake trees. And, you know, you can even hear from the sidewalk just god awful Christmas music that is probably dug out of some old archive that they think is hip and cool to play. Oh, um, yeah. are we talking I, I, like. I have the perfect <laughs> music for this. I have the perfect music for this. I know I can't put it on this. I can't have you stream it. So is it fine if I put it inside the uh... chest? Yeah, go ahead and uh, put it in Discord somewhere. Sure. Or in Roll20. If you put it in Roll20, everybody would get it. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, see it, this. It, it, it's, it's painful on the ears. It's I have really... hearing loss. Please don't make that worse. <laughs> uh, I'll just put it inside the Discord for those who want to look at who are part of ULH's Discord. If you haven't joined it, I don't know why you haven't. Yeah. 
That's. I mean, I was just kind of sitting in there for a couple months, and then the next thing I know, I saw, hey, who wants to be in the Christmas Day stream? I was like, I do. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'll just throw it in voice chat. He, here is the music that they are most likely playing. Oh God! What's now it? I'm curious. I'm gonna look. No, I'm like, I'm like all in on this now. Oh, <laughs> oh God! The Toad version. Uh, the oh, toad God. version. <laughs> oh God! They thought it was hip. They thought oh, it was. Oh my God! Cool. <laughs> Too much. I I salute you, sir. So I'm gonna grab Law, and we're gonna walk mm-hmm. right up to the security desk to the right there, and mm-hmm. we're gonna be like, "We're last minute security. We've got some VIPs. We've got to let in." And I'm going to use Ooh. conversation to convince them to let us in. Sure, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. That's now, can yeah. Law assist me? Is that a thing that happens in this system? Can I assist him with persuasion? So here's what, how it'll work. Um, if you assist him, you would still roll. And if you succeed, he basically gets a plus one on his roll. Okay, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Uh, as we're walking up to the desk, uh, I look over to them and say, I'm going to put on my persuasive voice. And now uh, we get to the desk. Uh, he says his piece and I go, uh, yes, we need to um, bring these uh, VIPs up to the main room so that we can, you know, check out, make sure everything's okay. The, don't want anything to happen while Christmas is going on. You know, you understand? All right. Now, something I should say before you hit the roll, and I should have said this earlier, so I do apologize. Uh, if you look on the very first tab of your character sheet, there is a very important field called luck. And luck is basically a free point uh, system where you can spend luck to add to a roll before it is rolled. So, for example, if you were to say spend two luck, then you would add two to whatever you roll. And normally, if this was a campaign, your luck would recharge at the beginning of every session. But since this is a one shot, your luck, once you're out of it, you're out of it. Fair. I'll spend one luck. Okay. And how do I actually spend luck? Uh, We'll just add it manually. No problem. Subtracting one luck, going down to persuasion, uh, past it, boom. 17. All right. That is very nice. And uh, let's see. Uh, Wolf, if you want to give me a uh, thus conversation. Oh, no. Is there a way to reroll that? Uh, no, there is no way to reroll that. I would be so... like, yeah, what he said. <laughs> and just completely botch it. Yeah, so. <laughs> Everyone's face pops. Yes. <laughs> Can't confirm. <laughs> I, I think what happens is. Obviously, you just described what is your perception of events. What actually happens and what the other three actually see happen is the walks up, starts screaming incoherently. No words, just starts screaming incoherently. (laughs) And then just spittle falls out of your mouth and just hits the secretary in the face and they like flinch from it. And... After you're done screaming incoherently, <laughs> they just sort of sigh, uh, push a button, and after a moment, uh, a few corpse set come running. And unless you actively resist to, you know, not be thrown out, you are promptly thrown out. And we step by while the corpse sex are distracted. <laughs> yes. Great. Uh, potentially, yeah. Uh, why don't you, those of you that want to slip by, roll me a stealth. Sure. Because I'm about to yeah. draw my shotgun and shoot this guy because I'm crazy. No. <laughs> I'm about to get real crazy here. Right. I'm really sorry, Law. I really am, buddy. Oh, brother. All right. So uh, I have good news for two of you, at least. Oh, God. I, uh, I, yes. I'm guessing, unfortunately, the tall lady failed. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, uh, Pangolin A, as we're referring to them, because uh, I don't think we actually gave them names. We probably should have covered that earlier. My apologies. Yeah. I gave mine a name. Uh, what are what are we calling your character there, James? Um, Susan. Just call me Alpha, I guess. Alpha, okay. I like sure. that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like Pangolin Alpha just as a as a moniker. So, all right, we'll do Alpha. 
So what happens is M and Sasaki, uh, you guys hop over the barrier as Corpsec come running to deal with uh, the and law. And uh, you make it over just fine. And the problem is, is when you two hop over, uh, maybe slipping in behind where the Corpsec came running, uh, as you all go up the stairs to the right, uh, Alpha, you make to make the same maneuver to hop over the barrier, but you sort of misjudge the distance, and you end up not jumping over the barrier, but falling flat on your face on the other side. <clears throat> oh. So when you look up and you get your bearings again, uh, you sort of see that uh, more Corpsec has arrived, and they're just sort of looking down at you like, the hell do you think you're doing? Ruining Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. <laughs> what do like, you think we're doing? <laughs> okay, can I bullshit my way out of this at all? Potentially. Tell me how you're going to bullshit. I don't have acting, so I can't do that. Um, I'm going to conversation it. I'm going to okay. just have uh, her basically uh, go ahead and just be like, I'm some of the hired entertainment for the evening. I'm, I'm a snow maiden, as you can tell by how white and, you know, fair I am. And okay. uh, let me roll this. See what you remember. You do have luck if you really wanted to. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to put a thing of luck on this. Just, 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 just as a little bit of cover your ass, you know. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Right, a fourteen. So the DC was a thirteen. So with a fourteen, thank God. Uh, the two corpses that kind of nudge each other and go, eh, "They're hiring actual jesters now. That's fucking cute." Uh, must resist urge to punch. <laughs> It's like, yes, that's me, a jester. Ha ha ha. I'm going to go and uh, just head up here and I'm going to just head up the stairs right behind them. <laughs> All right. So uh, the and law, as I said, you are promptly thrown out of the building. Oh, no, I was shooting the guy. <laughs> oh, I, OK. I'm playing oh. the batshit insane guy to a T. Oh, OK. <laughs> drawing my gun, be like, you've broken the law. <laughs> no one right. throws us out. We're <laughs> NCPD. We are the law. Oh my! Says so, it right here. Can't you read? Just so you know, is breaking the law. Just so you know, if you do start shooting, uh, it is going to more or less end in a bloodbath for you. There is that much corpse sec here that even with your shotgun, it's not a very smart idea. Like I know I you're think, playing the bat so shooting insane. I think I draw my shotgun, but it's just me making shooting noises. Give you. Yeah, it's actually the law going, <laughs> grabbing the by mm -hmm. uh, like by his shoulder and leading him away. Going, uh, you were so just eloquent. I don't understand why it didn't work. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I spoke so clearly. I'm not making finger gun noises. Pew, 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 pew. I, just, I heard. I understood every word. I look at Sasaki and M, and I'm just like, how how are they allowed out without supervision? supervise each other <laughs> We're that, the well, blind leading the, the blind <laughs> this i i don't even know how they match tyler's shoes in the morning law, i don't but, think they do i think they were velcroed law brings <laughs> up uh law Wait, brings can... up um alpha on on their agent mm -hmm. oh dear can i help you yes you got in right i cannot confirm or deny this uh, the plan went perfectly. I oh, <laughs> I put it on speaker as soon as he says that. Apparently, the plan went perfectly. He says. Oh really? You guys find the contraband. We'll meet you inside. <laughs> and I just hang up. Oh, nice. I just look to the other two, and it's like, okay, I think that it's just the three of us. We're just gonna ignore them. <laughs> They'll probably That's swoop cool. in like the heroes they think they are. And ruin everything, yeah. Correct. Uh, I, I more expect them to actually blow a wall and sit, blow a hole in the wall of this building and somehow manage to ruin our plans. You know, have at a good time. It, at least it's a free exit. 
Okay, so we've gotten past. <laughs> have we gotten past the the? Hold on. Handy. There we go. So we're yeah. Corpse acts are gone. Mm-hmm. So you're in the middle of the holiday celebration. What's what's Correct. that like? So the holiday celebration again, sort of that god awful like over the top decorations. There's blow up Santa dolls. There's fake Christmas trees. There's uh, an ostentatious, like gaudy, uh, set of Christmas lights strung over everything. Um, in general, um, it looks like they just tried to mash together like six different styles and it didn't work. It's just um, like those Christmas trees that are like made out of aluminum, but they're like stark white. Mm-hmm. Like that one from like that one point in Annabelle's Wish where the, the, the horrible ant is decorating her tree and it's all pink and white and it's horrible. Mm. Oh, uh, looks like we have a uh, webcam thing to fix real quick. Uh, so you Wolf crash, sorry. and now yeah, you're fine. Uh, oh, Wolf and K, you. leave your webcams on. Uh, Soup and uh, James, if you would just toggle yours off real quick. Oh, okay. And then... Uh, how do I do that? Uh, just hit stop video and zoom. Ah, here we go. And then uh, soup, if you toggles, you're on. And then once soup is on, then toggle yours back on, James, and we should be in the correct order. All right, Excellent. cool. Wait. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, so it's a, it's a mishmash of styles. And throughout it all, there is a normal sort of... Well, I say normal. Uh, for you, for you, M. It's the average corporate Christmas party, as in everybody has on those sort of little hats. Everybody's sort of doing the forced smile. It's fairly obvious that the only reason people are here is because they get to be on company time and not actually work. Uh, If it were up to anyone and they had any other choice in the world, they would not be here. Um, But there's sort of that fake nicety going on. Oh my gosh, um, it's so nice to see you. No, it's not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think if we're going to give a little bit of like insight, I think M has, M is the type of person who usually just skip out on these parties because they were, they're just, they're just kind of toxic environments, but like has been to enough that know that, that he knows them. Mm-hmm. He, he like I I want to just get get inside this character even though they're he's not going to be in anything else you know <laughs> that's fair I, I mean that's a, that's that's I like that personally and what I would say is on that same note M uh you're sort of looking around uh just trying to get a feel for the party because you being familiar with them at least to some degree. Um, I'd like you to roll me a perception, please. Perce- human perception or normal perception? Well, it depends on what you would lo- want to look for. Would you want to look for um, more specific sort of here are objects A, B, C, or are you looking more for uh, maybe who's the important person to talk to kind of a thing? I think important person to talk to is going to pay off better. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, roll me a human perception. Human here. perception. Bam. Okay, and that is uh, more than sufficient. So you being familiar with uh, exec parties like this, yeah, you figure out who's the important one real quickly, uh, specifically because they are seated on Santa's lap, and um, they're a little drunk. Okay. Oh, and joy. And when I say a little drunk, I mean they're the kind of embarrassed drunk where... You sort of took them to a mall, Santa, and um, they made an ass of themselves. But you can't actually tell them that because they're above you. And if you told them, they'd ke- probably fire you in an instant. Mm-hmm. It's one of those situations. So they didn't have the traumatic, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Ho, 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 Christmas story experience. <laughs> But yeah, uh, what I would say is that they are a gentleman, or at least they appear to be male presenting. And um, let's just say they are loudly announcing uh, performance reviews to people who walk by. Okay. So my next, my other question is, what Mm -hmm. can, um, so what can I get out of it? What can I 
get out of this person since they're that's, the most important in the room. That you'd have to actually go talk to them or like poke somebody nearby, be like, hey, who the hell is that kind of a thing? Okay. I'm just going to poke somebody nearby and ask, excuse me. And uh, uh, the woman you poke kind of turns and goes, oh, oh, hello. Um, lovely, lovely um, snow effects, isn't it? Yes. I'm just passing by from another area. And uh, I was wondering who is on Santa's lap as of the, as of now? And she kind of looks over. Oh, you mean you don't know Tommy? Haven't uh, been in this area of the building recently. Hmm. Well, I I was under the impression everybody knew Tommy. Uh, kind of hard to miss the the jackass. He's um even when he's not that. And as uh as she motions over, uh, you see that at this point the individual in question is um considering disrobing is how I would put it. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. No. Oh no. Look, are we about to see some dude get naked on Santa's lap? <clears throat> Who's going to touch him? I I immediately go professional mode because I'm now actually in a, in a hostile area. I look at <laughs> the the corpo. I look at our corpo and say, "Sir, shall I stop him?" Wait at me. Mhm. Yes. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I think M M is going to say M M's gonna like give like a nod, but like with the understanding, don't mess this up. Just just like just prevent a man from disrobing on Santa's lap. Uh, I'm going to look at the uh, corporal, the uh, corporal woman that uh, M is talking to, and say, "Is there any specific?" Things I must know before preventing this man from disrobing. Well, I mean, do you uh, you work for network? I mean, I, I don't see you. You're not exactly in corporate gear. Are you from another branch? I, He's my plus I one. Entire... Oh, yeah, and I'm plus, her plus two. Plus two. Sorry. Yes. Hmm. Well, wow, that's security. you. You must be someone very important. Because hell, I wasn't even able to bring myself. <laughs> oh God, I wish I wasn't here. <laughs> you and us well, all four of us are in the same boat the feeling is mutual no but no I mean if if you're not actually part of this branch I mean Tommy's only the branch manager he can't fire you so actually you yeah. know what I'm this you know what and she turns to uh, Sasaki you do whatever you feel is right Thank you, but I do wish to keep professionalism. And uh, the woman gets uncomfortably close to you and uh, leans in and kind of whispers into your ear. If you knock him out cold, I'll pay you 500 ebb. As as tempting as that is, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm already on the job. However, after today, if you want to do so, I would be glad to. And I would say that uh, she kind of pats you a little bit and pulls away. And I would say that your front left pocket feels a little bit heavier. As if she may have (laughs) slipped the bills inside already. Honestly, this is going well. All right. So once he got rid of the lawmen. (laughs) Yeah, as soon as they are gone. Without (laughs) us, you would have never gotten in. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. Just wait until he cuts back to us. Cut back to you two. Just climbing the side of the building. Yeah, just climbing uh, the side of the building with like suction cups. I'm handcuffs. That's the only thing we have on us. God, you more. couldn't just go to a building and find a plunger, Star 3? Yes, plungers. Uh, oh my God. I'm going to, as I said, approach the man who is attempting to, dis- well, approaching the apparent man who is attempting to disrobe on Santa mm-hmm. and gingerly helping him up and helping him to what appear helping him to the mail back. All right. So what I would say is I am going to need a check from you here, uh, mostly just to see how well you are at navigating, not only the social situation, but also whether or not you can handle a drunkard. 
Uh, I would say that this is probably going to be some form of... Uh, what do I want to make this? You know what? I will give you a tactics roll here. How would you feel about a tactics roll? Let me find where tactics is on my sheets. Where is it? Are you sure it's not drive land vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried We're to move a drunk person a around? Car into him. It's like, uh, stop. Where you have you tried to move a drunk blender. person around? It's kind uh, of like driving a car. Yes, I very <laughs> much like the tactics, and I will spend one luck on it because... I don't want to okay. get thrown out, and this is a very, very high uh, stakes. Yeah, yes. this, is, this is a high risk maneuver for what I actually want to do because he's a very talkative man, and a very talkative man is going to probably spill a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good point. But I want to get him to an isolated spot. Okay. All right, so, let's see what you roll. A 17. Easy. So it's one of those things, or 18 with your luck. So it's one of those things where you sort of reach the somewhat forming circle of people around him. Because, you know, when someone makes an ass of themselves, you don't just let them do it. You form a circle, take photos, videos, blackmail material. Oh, of course. So you sort of breach that ring and go up to him. And as you sort of maybe slip an arm under his and begin to pull him up, he goes, No! No! You don't understand. Santa here needs a little lap dance. Unless you want to do it. I don't see any else of you fuckers able to do it right. I have to fucking do everything myself. So I please request that you follow me. It is of utmost importance. Ah. And he just sort of, he's, you know, he lets himself be led out at this point. So I are you heading to, to the, M. uh, sorry oh. to interrupt, but are you heading to the, uh, male bathroom? Men's bathroom? Yes, I, I am heading to what looks like the most isolated bathroom. Okay. I, okay. I turn to M just as he's leading him off and goes, and I go, I know we're here to steal Christmas, but they can't steal that gift from us. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, M's, M's going to follow into the bathroom like a, like a, casually like a couple seconds later like as if as if he didn't see what just happened. I'm going to okay. follow and sort of position myself nearby enough that I could jump in if something goes wrong but not go into the bathroom because you know I'm a lady. Gotcha. <laughs> or I could just go in and be like ma'am you can't go in there. Excuse you how dare you presume my gender. Exactly. But what well, is the it's... future? Why would they even? Why? Why at this point, gendered bathrooms would be archaic. Silly. I'm pretty but... sure they use the three shells too. Just so oh clear. god, not the three shell method. No, <laughs> don't bad. remind me of the three, three shells, shells, please. The what? Well, you'll need. You'll need. We'll to explain later. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is basically a rock bottom situation. No, no. Actually, so it's funny you guys mentioned that because as far as we see in uh, Cyberpunk 2077, there is kind of unisex bathrooms everywhere. Like nice. they just they just sort of stall everything. And um, yeah, you sort of have like little ISO cubes that you do your business in. So Okay, cool. I'm going to go in then. So as they're going in, we're going to cut back to the lawmen. Um, <laughs> what are you two doing outside at this point? Well, we figured, since the direct approach wouldn't work, mm -hmm. uh, we were just going to climb the side of the building to the nearest um, either vent or, like, air conditioning unit. Okay. And just worm our way in through the, uh, through the vents. Through the vents. I see. I see. Uh, are any of you uh, trained HVAC technicians? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I could be. If, if maybe that's what I did before I went crazy and thought I was a man. Oh, you had a little too much of the Freon? That's what yeah, it is? I had is too you... much Freon and I thought I became dread. And then when my brother tried to resuscitate me, I I don't know, I made him drink you infected it. infected him. Yeah. Oh, just... uh, no. Because you know what? We we always did everything together throughout our lives. We were, we were technicians together. We got, in, we got you know, infected together or whatever. Oh yeah. God. And went crazy together. I... I, I feel like I'm committing a cardinal sin, but you know what? That sounds like a plausible explanation to me for a one shot. So we're going to roll with it. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, why don't you roll me a deduction uh, there? The 
Okay, I can do that. Where? What is that under? I believe it is under education, education skills. Uh, I got. I got that as a skill. Twenty-two. Wow. Yeah. yeah so, what I would say is, you actually find a fire escape on the back part of the building that does lead up to the roof. However, there's a problem. Yeah. The problem is that the ladder is up sort of on the second story. We, so you have to figure out a way to get the ladder down to you. Maybe you've missed our, our roll 20 trap, but we're using our handcuffs as like grappling hooks and climbing the wall. Like I I don't think the the, the handcuffs are that good. I was about to say. <laughs> they only need to do enough damage to the wall to give ourselves a, a, little, a little grip. Yeah, I they're not that great of handcuffs, unfortunately. <laughs> What if they were? The, I'll give you all the, of my luck right the, now, ELH, if you let us do this. The, I've got a great idea. I'll throw you up there. I love it. I was going to say. I, the old Detroit skidoo. Let's do this. Oh, Detroit my skidoo. God. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Law, go ahead and give me an athletics, please. I assist with a running jump. Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll me your athletics. Okay. So what happens is, uh, Law, you kind of cup your hands together and, you know, kind of lean down, ready to vault them up. And, uh, though you run forward, uh, put your foot into their hands and boost up towards the ladder above. And for just the briefest moments, you think, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look cool and I'm going to get this. And then you hit the side of the building. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> you came Wonderful. close. What if we Try took it again? What if we took all of our handcuffs and you made a small grappling hook so when you got up to it, you could hook it on and then it'd allow you to pull yourself up the last bit. Sounds just crazy enough to work, law. All right, roll me more athletics. Let's see if you can get up there this uh, time. I'm going to burn two luck for this roll. All right. Yes! Oh, my God. Yes! Ah! Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so mine's a 16. <laughs> yeah, yours is a 16, but his is a two. So here's what happens. Law, you again assume the position. Get ready to boost them up. They come running forward, but as they swirl their, like, makeshift handcuff sort of chain, uh, what happens is they end up tripping up themselves. So they don't fall into you so much as run into you. Oh, and no. as you sort of tumble together, as you come to a stop, I have good news and bad news. Which would you like? Bad news. Bad news, you're both handcuffed together right now, and neither of you remembers where the key is. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Are you ready for the good news, wait, wait, though? What's the, the bad news? Yeah, what's the bad news? That's, that's, that sounds like not a problem for us. Like, we're always together anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's the good news. What's we the bad news? This <laughs> well, the good news is that you're looking around. There luckily doesn't seem to be a security camera anywhere here. So no one probably saw that. Um, Can I... Can I do something to get the ladder down? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, I want to I wanna try chucking him this time. <laughs> We're just going to split flip rolls. Okay. So I'm just going to try to boost him up with an athletics check, and he can assist by looking cool. Okay. 17 is pretty good. 17 is more than sufficient that when you actually reverse the order of operation and you boost him up, yeah. uh, Law, you're able to grab the bottom run, rung of the ladder, pull it down, and now you all can have send up the fire escape. Sweet. Oh my he goodness. climbs backwards because we're handcuffed together, but he looks mm. cool doing it. Yeah. Okay, so like, is anyone else imagining the Blues Brothers, but they both sound like Judge Dredd? I mean, that's exactly <laughs> yes. what I've been imagining this entire time. <laughs> oh, so. good. No, I wasn't exactly crazy. what we were going for. All right, so we're going to cut back inside as the uh, Blues Brothers Dread, uh, or maybe the Dread Blues Brothers. I'm going to have to brothers. think of no, the Blues Brothers Dread works much better. Yeah. yeah. There you go. 
So uh, as you three inside uh, take Tommy, the branch manager, into the bathrooms, uh, tell me a little bit about how that plays out. So I'm going to drag him into one of the stalls. Okay. Because this is kind of like an isolated place, so it's going to be easy to find one. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I get... Once I get him and myself in the stall, mm -hmm. it's time for a little bit of interrogation. I'm also okay. putting, like a little thing to cover half my face to make it harder for him to uh, identify me once this is done. Okay. Uh, M, it sounds like you have something to say. Yeah. Um, I just think that I should help with interrogation because, uh, because uh, well, I'm good with people, basically. <laughs> That's all I got. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah, good cop. Exactly. Good cop, bad cop. Okay. So, so I have a very important question then. Are you starting with good cop or are you starting with bad cop? Start with bad cop. Can I be morally <laughs> okay. ambiguous cop? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you're that you're uh, that kind of one that just has their arms folded in the back, just shaking your head the entire exact, time. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going for. Just I'm just standing there like this seven, six foot seven woman just staring. Mm. Wait, how coherent is this man? Um, on a scale of one to ten, he's a fifteen. This dude is <laughs> plastered. Okay. He's to All right. Santa so. a lap dance. He is in the right state of mind. He is he is shit? He he's not just shit faced. He's about halfway through the plumbing system. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm yeah. going to I'm okay, going to uh, sober him up real quick. Because I'm going to drag him into one of the toilets, grab him by his hair, and slam him into the water for a few seconds, and then pull Whirly. him Swirly! Swirly. Impressive. Not swirly, because I don't flush. <laughs> All right. Can I lean over to there. flush? And yeah, you may lean over to flush. Now it's a swirly. <laughs> yes, I'm going to lean over to flush. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't flush yet. All right. Can I wait by the handle, though? Yes, you can. Yay. <laughs> Specifically, is there anything inside the toilet before? Nah, just just water. Dang. <laughs> Wait, no. If you give me a minute, <laughs> we're not Please doing no. that. This Please no. Please no. We're streaming on Twitch. Please no. <laughs> this is a stream. We're not doing that. I'm. I was joking. But uh, I'm going to slam his face to the water for a few seconds until he starts struggling, and then pull him up. Mm hmm. And uh, he uh, he goes. Ugh! What the hell are you doing? Slam his face straight into the water again for a few more seconds. Pull him up. I was just trying to give Santa what he deserves. Into the water again. <laughs> Pull Listen, him up. Listen, did that bitch Tammy send you? No, Mrs. Claus sent us for trying to do that to her husband. Pull him up. <laughs> All, right. All right. You're going to tell me exactly what I want. Or I'm not going to pull up again. I, I, I exactly what you want. Where is the turkey? Uh, the turkey. Yes, the turkey. gobble gobble, bitch. At this point, I am gonna need a uh, interrogation roll from someone. Uh, well, let me look at my. I'll do it. Got. Oh, I got a good interrogation. I'm doing this. Okay, I don't have do necessarily good interrogation. I mean, so. I have six in interrogation. Same. But right. I'm doing interrogation because I'm the one slamming his face into the water over. And yeah, over. you should probably. Fair do enough. It. That's fair. 22? A 22. That is more than sufficient. And he goes, <laughs> I, I don't know nothing about a turkey, but uh, you like birds. Way? Yeah. I slap him across the face really hard. Ah! You will tell me where they are keeping the important food. Well, that's easy. And uh, he kind of points uh, out of the cube uh, towards the east side of this map. And uh, if one of you were to poke your heads out of the restroom, uh, literally across the hall from you is what is essentially a kitchenette. Okay. Oh. Oh, excellent. Where is there any security? Uh, uh, that's that's about as coherent as the noise he makes. Can I flush? 
But his face is not in the water, and I think we're this is all we're gonna get out of him because yeah. he is a corporate Damn. blowhard. Apologies. I've been hoping to flush. But uh, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to do what uh, the woman paid me for and knock him out. <laughs> so, left hook, right hook? Uh, just, me, just mean right straight to the face. Okay. Are yeah, he goes nice? down like a sack of potatoes. And I'm going to prop him inside the toilet to make it look like he just passed out uh, on the toilet. Nice. Fair. Actually, before I knock him out, can I punch him in the gut to make him vomit to make it look like he just vomited and passed out? Well, you don't need to punch him because he does that for you. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> that was he, handy. And I and then I set him up and I look at them and it's like, all right, story. We were asked, story is we are extra security asked to make sure that the food is not tampered with. You, I, I look at, I look at him. I come up with a story about how you figured it, how you hired us or something like that. I can be the expert taster. No. What? We don't need to taste. We're just here to make sure that the food is not tampered with. Oh, yes, that's a good point. Look, I'm hired to be a mercenary. I'm not hired for my brains. So am I, but I still use mine. Nice. nice. I'm just gonna walk out of the bathroom. Outside. <laughs> wall yeah, I was gonna say we're we're going back outside after that. So, uh, how are you guys faring at this point? Have you made it up the fire escape? I'm gonna let you decide. <laughs> I've, I've managed to find the key, but I haven't told Law yet, so we're still handcuffed together because it feels right. But I think okay. we've managed to make it up the fire escape Absolutely. with the pulling Law most of the way up. Okay. <laughs> So uh, you sort of look around on the roof and you do see a big old like HVAC unit because for a building this size, they got to have a big old unit. And it's one of those kind of like movie scenes where there's that comically slow fan that's just lazily blowing air through it. And uh, if you were to find a way to somehow stop that fan or otherwise slip past it, you could go through the vents as it were. Oh, look, it's the old T-94 version. We know yeah. how to stop that. If only we could get these handcuffs off, we could jam it in the blades. Well, you know I've never let you down, Law. And then I pull out the key. As it pains me to do this, click. And he slips them off. Ah, oh, you're the best, the... You are the best, Law. <laughs> we give it a, a nice, like, bro high five. No, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the Arnold Schwarzenegger in that one movie, they're like, Psh! Like one of those, like our muscles are bulging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we stuff those handcuffs in the blade. Okay. Um I don't even know what the hell to make this roll. Uh <laughs> Is there a roll for awesome? <laughs> you have a plus eighteen million to it. Duh. I mean Maybe cool. Just well the, it, I, I'm trying to tie it to a skill specifically. Um I don't Why don't you roll me a machinery? Yeah, I wish. Roll me a basic tech here. Basic tech? Oh, I have a solid plus zero to that. Oh, same. But I'm going to spend some luck on it because this feels appropriate. I'm going to spend three luck. Okay. <laughs> and I'm um, doing basic tech. Shabamo. That's a solid 11. That is a solid 11 indeed. So, um... Good news, bad news. What do you want first? Yes. Right. What's the bad news? What's the bad news? Come on. Bad news. Well, I'll, I'll I'll do a good news, then bad news. Good news. You do stop the fan. Boomski. Bad news. Those handcuffs, they aren't functional anymore. As in, they're just sort of metal scrap at this point. Oh, Fair enough. Behold a silent vigil. As, <laughs> as Law says. I have same for you. Oh, great handcuffs. You now we're in the sky. Way. What's that? You served us well, handcuffs. You served us well. May you rest in pieces. And we slip in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, I have a very important question before we cut back to the inside, team. <laughs> you, man. Uh, 
Are you going to just blindly crawl your way through the vents? No, or... we have road flares. Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We Why did I even ask? <laughs> this is going Why? to end so badly. <laughs> okay. And this and thus the two lawmen were found. <laughs> This ah. this is happening. They say this is why we do one shots. To signal for help. This. Oh my god. Okay. All right. We're gonna go back to the inside team as I process what to do there. I can't believe how incredibly prepared we are for something that should not be prepared for. Yeah, it's it's uncanny. It is absolutely uncanny. All right. So inside team, uh, you guys move uh, to go enter into the kitchen. Uh, however, when you go to test the doors, uh, you notice something very important, specifically that they do not open when you approach them. Like if you were to go into the bathroom door, the door would open for you. Um, if you were to go to any other door uh, in this place, it would have opened for you. This door does not open. In fact, you notice that the little blinking keypad uh, to the right of the door uh, is flashing red anytime you get near it. Hmm. Must be some sort of chip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually look around to see if I can spot anyone who looks like they would be food related. Walking so around. like a, a catering staff. Yeah, a catering staff. We shouldn't have set up Tommy, we could have just dragged him over here. No, he Please. he's the corporal blowhard. He okay. would he would probably scream out something stupid. Let's look at mm. that. That's yeah. All right. Uh, why don't you give me a perception check, Soup? All right. Perception. Fifteen. 16. You don't spot any catering staff outside, but when you sort of knock on the door, um, what you hear on the other side is sort of this muffled, listen, uh, we, we can't fit any more cooks back here. There's too many cooks. <laughs> I'm not a cook. Just, just. I've been I've been tasked with ensuring that the food is not tampered with. Like I said, there's too many cooks. Well, this I know to spoil the broth, but I just need to go in to check. That's all. What's your name? Uh, what was the name of the corpo guy that Tommy. we knocked out? His name was Tommy. Tommy sent me. You mean the guy that apparently I'm hearing was giving a lap dance to Santa? Yes. Yes. The hell does he want in the kitchen? He just wants to make sure that everything's perfect. You know. Has to make it has to look good and so he can say that he was a part of it. And uh after a moment, the door opens, and on the other side is a member of the corpse sec. Uh, so, you know, standard suit, uh, carrying a SMG at his side, and uh, he sort of looks you up and down, and you get the sense very easily that he's either about to raise an alarm, or he's about to give you a quote-unquote high five. I'm going to let you decide what to do with that information. I immediately stand, do the stand at attention and state, I was hired as extra security, sir. I thank you for being accommodated. Roll me a persuasion. This is one of the things I'm not good at. <laughs> uh, I can help him out if that's possible. All right, tell me how. All right. Um, I <clears throat> stamp, snap to attention next to him and say, I have been assigned as well, and it's a privilege. And sort of just try and make it seem a bit more on the level. Okay. So... And I'm going to spend two luck on this. Do you want me okay. to roll uh, here? Then let me see here. Uh, Why don't you roll a conversation there, James? Fair enough. I'm going to spend one luck. Okay. All right, that's... 
well an eight. wow that that's that's terrible wow yeah that's that's a nine that was bad i feel bad And okay. then the did Sasuke roll? I I have not rolled yet. I'm firing persuasion, so I would have a plus four on this. Wow. Oh wow, we just completely fucked this. Oh, I rolled an eight too. That was fantastic. That was some so, law type luck. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. So M. Mm -hmm. Remember how I said earlier that there's their version of events and then there's what actually happens? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. No, no. Please. Please, God. Oh, no. I don't want to be in the same category as those two. Please don't. We've been so, good. <laughs> Sasuke, or Sasuke kind of comes up to the gentleman, snaps a salute, and then says something along the lines of, I'm here, food inspect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I accidentally say my words in Japanese. Let's <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it's one of those English things. Then, uh, well, Alpha says something along the lines of, yes, me here too. <laughs> and then I just glance over to him. It's like, I was following your lead. And it's one of those things where they're just sort of look the, the corpse that's looking at you, then looks to M and goes, Are are, are these idiots with you? Uh can I do a quick like value assessment, risk value assessment? Just would I be able to do the job if I do the job in the kitchen with without them? Do you is uh, no, I, I think I know what you're going for here. Uh, why don't you roll me a deduction? Okay. Boop. And skills. Good deduction. What I would say is that you probably have one chance to maybe slip inside here. But this corp guy's seen all your faces. And if he isn't knocked out or otherwise dealt with, you three aren't going to be able to get back into the kitchen unless you find some other way in, is what I would say. Okay. So this is kind of your one shot to either talk your way past him or maybe shoot him. I guess shooting him is always an option. But just know that if you do shoot him... It's going to attract a hell of a lot of attention. Question. Yeah. I've, oh. oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. I just, is no, it No, no, you go first. Him? I was going to continue. So. Is it just him? Like in I mean, the it's him and then a bunch of catering staff behind him. But oh, yeah. It's... Yeah. If, I, if we shoot him, the catering staff's going to be spooked. They're like deer. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big generalization. That was the most in character thing I think I've heard you say out of character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to talk my way past him. Okay. What are you saying exactly? I think I'm going to say um, something like, I'm not going to do it in character, but uh, something mm -hmm. like, uh, I, I hired these fools for my extra security, but I doubt. That there'll be any use, so I'm going to inspect and make sh and do security work myself, as I am not, uh, as as I am not unarmed, not incapable. All right, uh, roll me a conversation here. Conversation. That's concentration. Oh, should be under your uh, yeah, social. Yeah, I'm clicking it. Oh, I clicked. Oh, there it goes. It lagged, so the first one. Yeah, we'll take the first one. A 19. Nice. Yeah. So uh, the corpse set kind of looks you up and down, says, "All right, uh, your help." And he does air quotes. It's gonna have to wait out here. Like I said, I, I really wasn't kidding. There's too many bodies back here. Not a problem. All right. 
And it allows, uh, or it, he allows you uh, inside M. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, with uh, oh, no. the law, as it were. Oh, God. Uh, you guys have been crawling through the vents using road flares. And uh, just out of curiosity, who's in the lead? Oh, the, of course. Of course. Okay. He's, he comes first. All right. So you eventually get to what it sounds like a creaking, sort of unsteady, shoddy worksmanship ducked. But you continued onwards because, you know, you believe that you'll be fine. And almost as a testament to your own fucking hubris, uh, <laughs> what happens is the vent literally falls from its point on the ceiling. M, you're in the kitchen when this happens, but literally dropping from the ceiling is not only the, but also law. Oh my oh, god. Oh no. <laughs> Oh yes! It worked! I called this back when they disappeared. I knew they'd be swooping so, in at a crucial moment. Are you like in with all the rest of us? I would like to take this moment to give my, my quippy a little one lighter. And I look over at Law and I go, shoddy craftsmanship. Yeah, but another perfect infiltration. <laughs> Just like San Diego. Key difference is, I hate, also, it. I hate everything. I don't think they will. And just like uh, James predicted, all the catering staff go, oh, I'm so startled. <laughs> but they uh, all basically stop what they're doing to just look at what the fuck just happened. They're like, what the <laughs> hell? Oh, my God. Please La talk. Law's going to look over to the YouTube. So, handle the, the talking, bro. Like, you know, I always do. We're here. We're here to inspect the turkey. <laughs> Fourteen. I can't. I need a minute. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, and right Lord. after that, Law's gonna say. We're in CPD. Oh, I tell you what. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we take a five-minute breather? Because yes. Lord knows I need it. <laughs> All right, we'll be back oh in about five-minute stream. Let's take a ride. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>
Yes. Just now that we're back. Zoom. Yes. So uh, we resume uh, where we left off with uh, the and law coming from the ceiling, spooking the catering staff, putting M in a very difficult position, <laughs> and in general, yeah. cocking things up. <laughs> Classic the. Mm-hmm. Oh God. So okay. I I think what happens is the corpse sec that's with you, M, just sort of stares like wide eyed and mouth agape, and he's just like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Can I pull a? You should take care of them. I steal the turkey. I run away. We run away. We're out. Do you okay. think that would, I should probably roll tactics or, or deduction or something to figure out that's a good idea, but it's my first idea. Well, uh, what I would say is this actually plays into something you have in your cyberware. You have an internal agent, Ooh. which means you could essentially send a text, send a call, and do so without actually making a motion or saying anything. Or at least that's yeah. always been my understanding of an internal agent. I think I'm going to then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna text the law, both of them, like mm -hmm. group chat or whatever, and just say distraction now. Just like we planned it. <laughs> I don't think the law knows you text them because they're in the middle of NCPD mode <laughs> and they don't have an internal agent, so they have to pull out their phone to see it. But oh, don't I worry. We'll give you a distraction. That was the plan. <laughs> that wasn't the law's plan, but that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what enlighten us? What is the distraction? So yeah, as the is eloquently shouting, we're here to to uh, test the food. We're here to test the food. <laughs> <laughs> my god uh, Law is going to bring up his shotgun and say NCPD everyone on the ground Jesus um okay this is one of those rare moments in game masterings where I look at myself and I think ELH how did we get to this point in our lives <laughs> <laughs> and it is at this point that other ELH says I don't know ELH how did we get here? Well, a bunch of other bad decisions, ELH. You're right, ELH. <laughs> it's, I know I it's you're... hard. It's hard to see so high when you've already climbed so far. Uh, <laughs> look, look. Original sin here was getting involved in tabletop gaming at all. I mean, this is true. I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, so this is probably dead. going better than my third ever tabletop game ever where my character oh no i'm killed. having a blast i'm just wondering how i can run such a quote-unquote serious game on other weeks and then i have this and it's the, the silliest thing i've run in recent times and that's including bill and ted on sundays wait so, you have a bill and ted game on sundays well it's it's base it's still a star trek game but it's basically bill and ted in space in star trek so oh i just i'm i want to i want to see that now yeah, it's uh, Star Trek Groundskeepers. It's uh, VODs are on my YouTube. If you ever get a chance, definitely give it a watch. It's Absolutely. it's quick and fun. Fair enough. Okay, uh, now that I've had a chance to think, uh, I would like you to roll me, at least Law, I want you to roll me a interrogation, please. That's probably not the intended use of interrogation, but this definitely isn't bribery. This definitely isn't persuasion. And I can't really think of another skill that would even come close to doing what you want to do at this point. Can I assist oh. by menacing? I just want to menace. I, just want to be like, I, I think we're good. Yeah, with a 19, I think I what a, happens... No, no, we're not good. I fuck it up. Oh, no. Wow. Yes. Wait, wait, let me see. Oh, no. Well, that's a 10. Actually, it's a, it's a 10. It's about... It's a it's 10. A it's, it's not that bad. So yeah. what happens okay. is uh, about half the cooks... Uh, almost bolt like uh, cockroaches when you throw a light on them and they go oh shit it's the fuzz and they start diving out of doors <laughs> and like diving for cover first they're uh, deer now they're cockroaches <laughs> now they're oh, you know. a sinking ship like rats 
then uh, the other half of the cooking staff, uh, you know, kind of immediately throw up their hands like, whoa, we're, we're, we're not resisting. And then the corpse set goes, the fuck, you don't have a warrant. We don't need a warrant. We are the law. God and then help I, us all. I shoot the corpse set because not everyone, they, nobody got down. Okay. All right, so things <laughs> things are gonna kick off. All right, so I need you to roll me a shoulder arms if you are using your um your shotgun. In eighteen, I believe an eighteen is more than sufficient. Let me just double check. That's amazing. <laughs> Thaw's gonna look over at you just with this like most like proud brotherly grimace that you can think of just <sighs> yeah an 18 middle, is more than sufficient in the middle of shooting the shotgun in battle of course our eyes will meet and they go <sighs> together <laughs> all right so go fighters. ahead and roll me your damage on your uh on your shotgun here yeah. oh my god oh my really? god yes delete <laughs> dear so, god the reason I'm saying, oh, my God, is because you actually rolled a critical hit on this guy <laughs> because you rolled two sixes, at least two sixes on your damage. Oh, that is essentially a critical hit. Oh, my God. So I need you to I now you roll up. me. <laughs> I now need you to manually roll me 2d6, please. God, he's doing God's work. A five. What oh my god, god, this is. I'm very scared of what they <laughs> what their followers are This like. is how we get out of everything. We're just stupid lucky. <laughs> so I don't know if this is better or worse. What happens is you unload with your shotgun and everybody in the place hears it, especially <laughs> the two solos outside. So Sasuke and and Alpha, you hear this. Yeah. The entire Christmas party hears it. I just M, you're to right Sasuke. next to it. So, M, you get splattered with blood as the corpse sex chest literally caves in and not just shatters the ribs completely, but this guy is dead before he even hits the ground. I Looks just like you are turn... late for Christmas. I <laughs> just turned to Sasuke just with this exact expression. Oh shit! I face palm. <laughs> I face palm because I know from seeing their armaments, I know who this is. I know what just happened, and I'm gonna give them some time. So Bye. revised plan. Since Korpuzek is dead, we have an escape route. Let's go through the vents. Yes. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm going to I'm going to give our friends some extra time. By mm -hmm. pretend by trying to open the door and pretending that it's jammed and you, and roaring <laughs> and roaring it's jammed as well as simultaneously roaring everyone get out danger danger Will Robinson danger yeah <laughs> yes yes you mechanical moron yeah and after caving in the corpse sex chest laws uh, law will shout the law is inviolable. <laughs> I'm grimace. just gonna have uh, Alpha's just gonna look to everyone else. I'm, I'm guessing people are looking at them down the hall from the party, just like, yeah, they're like, what the hell is like, going on over there? And like, you can see that Corpsec are beginning to run in your general direction. Uh, but I do want to give you like a turn's worth of actions before we go into initiative order. All right, can I run and start saying, everyone out, corporate espionage? Sure. Uh, roll Get me a all persuasion. the out of the way. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and roll me a persuasion. All right, cool. Here's the turkey. <laughs> God knows. I don't care at this point. Let's just get the hell out. <laughs> I'm grabbing the turkey. No, we got to grab the turkey. <laughs> all right, that a was 13. a 13. Yeah. I would say that there's enough confusion right now that you running the opposite direction <laughs> and screaming, get the hell out. Yeah. I'm going to say you get past just fine. Okay, so I get out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm out of the building then. Okay. Yes. And you you do have people following you out. So it's 
you know, you you manage to escape, as it were. Yeah, I start directing them. It's like, you go down that way. You go down that way. I don't know where I'm sending them. Right, right. right. You're just pointing in random directions and they're following your lead because as many people do in a situation like this, they just sort of go where people are yelling at them to go. So... I accidentally direct well. like one particularly fat court like executive into traffic. He gets run over. I'm, I mean, I'm it actually to... cyberpunk. That sort of thing happens more often than you think. Oh, yes. good. I always love it when a corporate fat cat gets run over. Thanks. No, it's much? actually one of those things where you remember that guy with the compact earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So the little smart car comes driving up, go ee, and just kind of runs into the guy, and he just looks down and goes, "That hurt." <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, with that slapstick humor covered, let's focus on the slapstick humor that is occurring in front of us. Oh, God. Um, yeah, M, the law. M is going to organize the th- the lawmen. I almost said thugs. They're not thugs. They're lawmen. Um, <laughs> it's not much different in Night City. <laughs> Couldn't be yeah. honest. It's, far, it's a respect thing, though. Um, so uh, M's going to organize them into taking the food into the vents. Okay. I like him because she respects the law. <laughs> Out of character, I have to ask, when did we start respecting them? Uh, it's it's a respect for the position, if not the people. Fair yeah. enough. Hey, it's so... Listen, we were saying the royal, the law. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I have good news and bad news. Which would you like? Oh god. I want to go good news first. I want to go good news first, yes. All right. Well, the the turkey's intact. After all that kerfluffle, the turkey is intact. I will spend my action to grab it. Well, that's sort of the bad news. Okay. It's a natural turkey. But you know how like a normal turkey is like a 20-pound bird that, you know, you have to use two hands to pick up? Sure. This looks like someone took a turkey and supersized it. We're oh, talking it's a live turkey. It's not a it's not a dish already. No, no, no. We're talking a sixty pound cooked turkey. Oh, cooked. gotta get those GMOs Excuse in me. there. <laughs> Wait, all we have to do is ruin the turkey, right? I mean, that or steal it. I mean, the orders were pretty clear that the turkey wasn't supposed to be eaten. Oh, well, no. like it wasn't meant to, to be like us? served. There was a I'm lot of fire. Sure a hand grenade that can blow this thing up. But I, but I mean, if you guys take it, like you guys could take it, like the all of us could have a nice Christmas dinner. Exactly. No, no, no. If we're gonna ruin Christmas, we have to ruin it for everyone, including ourselves. <laughs> That's that can't bullshit. Implicate. This man gets it. Yeah, it My can't friend, implicate us. Burn the turkey, light on fire, and have a grenade inside. Done. I, I have. A compromise to summarize everything that has just been said. The and law. Yeah. I'd like you to look at your cybernetics page for a moment. Cyber cyber work on it. So you <clears throat> see that little thing that says subdermal pocket? Yes. I mean, you're not going to get the full turkey. But you could probably scoop enough inside for a good handful later. I I think the law, without attempting to make sure nobody knows, without rolling a skill check, Mm -hmm. attempting, will just scoop turkey into their pockets so they can share it later. Yeah. (laughs) Em, you you see them just go up to the turkey and just, like, hand, just grip the side and rip off a piece and, like, stuff it into what is essentially a skin pocket. Zero shame. Zero shame. (laughs) I don't know about the, but Law's skin pocket is right on the inner thigh. Oh, same. Nice. Opposite side. <laughs> oh, God. <Jeez>. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, I was muted for that. I'm just thinking of that one Leonard Cohen line. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's stuff it up the hole in your culture. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Something like that. Um. So, yeah, can we blow this fucking turkey up? That's I mean, yeah. Out. What are you? What are you blowing it up with? Uh, road flares, all of them. I'm taking <laughs> all of my road flares. And I just chop it up there like I'm stuffing the turkey. But it's just like, road flares and anything explosive. A couple of couple of rounds. Oh, you know what? Um, uh, 
since since we have such powerful de- deductive uh, minds, um, mm. <clears throat> Law is going to look around uh, to see if any of the ovens are gas powered, and if there's any like gas or propane tanks that we can shove in the bird. Oh God, yes. What I would say is that all of them are gas powered. You could probably get about five propane tanks, and the turkey is big enough that you could fit two inside the bird itself. I put two inside, and I put one under each wing and one on its head. Question. Where that was. Question. Are we mm. trying to blow up the bird or the building? Yes. <laughs> oh. Law's going to look over to Em and go, this is going to be big. Okay, then. Let's get out. I want to duck and cover, sister. Wait. I'm outside... I'm outside the uh, room. I actually don't know what's going on. Yeah, you have no idea. I'm going to go outside the room and like and like probably probably run out instead of taking the vents because vents would be a little more hassle at this point. And we should just run. Also, also, M is he him if you recall. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, Elh, would would the law be able to get back in the vents and take the vents back out? I mean, potentially, but I'm going to need an athletics check. Oh, really? And I am going to say the DC is rather high because you came from the ceiling. We got this. Ceiling and we saw evil. how getting you up to the second story was a problem initially. What I'm what I'm saying basically is you get one shot at this. And if you fail, well, We're there's one way to man. go. I'm going to spend all yeah. my luck. I got four left. I'm spending yeah, me too. I'm okay, so what, what Law's going to do is he's going to take the butt of his shotgun and knock off one of the propane tanks inside the turkey, like the head, so it's spewing mm-hmm. propane gas, and knock mm-hmm. off one of the propane tank's heads outside the turkey, and so that's mm-hmm. spewing gas. <clears throat> and then uh, if we get into... Oh, uh, no, you know what? Before we get we try the vent, he's going to light a road, a road flare and mm-hmm. drop it like three feet away so that once the gas buildup uh, is accumulated, it's just going to go. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we'll do the thing where uh, Law gets ready to hoist the up and goes, wait, I remember this. Reverse. <laughs> he reverses. All right. God's help me. God damn it. Oh my <laughs> I love God. it. I got a oh 60. Oh my God. I, I, did get, I did get an 11. No, you got a... Uh, I, I spent four luck. Right, but you oh. subtract seven, so... so you have a seven. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not how math works. Come on. <laughs> I got a 16 because I spent the four luck. Yeah. So, Law, I now present you with a very difficult choice. Save me, brother. You can save yourself, or you can die with Law, or die with the... You assume we don't get out of here. <laughs> Well, first of all, uh, I'm not going anywhere without the. Okay. If I make it to the vent, then I will either hang so the, the can climb up me or hold, like, hold out my hand so he can jump up. Mm-hmm. And I think it's one of those things where you sort of lean down and offer out your hand and, and the tries to grab at your hand, but... <laughs> Just can't get enough air, can't get a a grip on you no matter how low you hang. And I think at this, M, uh, I need you to roll me an evasion, please, as you attempt to escape the building. You got it. Go without me, Law. A 13? most important part. Yep, a 13. I'm not going anywhere without you, brother. And what I'd like to imagine is that as M sort of runs away, there's this massive explosion and we all hear in the arms of an angel to sort of start playing <laughs> in the as, as we brother. just see, we just see the and law just go up in fire, but it's all cinematic like. So they're the last <gasps> ones that go up. Sarah McLaughlin walks out of the nearby alley with a microphone. Everyone's just staring like, where the hell did you come from? I mean, it's it's cyberpunk. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> Stranger things did happen just now. Uh, you know, yeah. This, is, this entire thing has just been Stranger Things, but not the show. <laughs> so it is at this point that 
you don't have to call Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson calls you and just goes, what the fuck? <laughs> I have no fucking idea what you people just did. You know what? I'm not even mad. You <laughs> blew up part of the office. That's rather impressive. And I guess I don't have to pay two of you now. So well done. You know what? Well done. Here, Here is at least the part of the payment that seems fair. And it's not enough to, you know, be super well off, but uh, hey, maybe you can afford some uh, somewhat decent food. I mean, not like real food, but hey, something. Yeah. And uh, I think that's where we're going to end our little one shot. I would like to imagine, though, there is a there is like an after credit scene and it mm -hmm. pivots to rubble in the room and you see like the and law and then a hand twitches and then it fades to black. Sure. Sure, I'll it out somehow. We'll have that happen. Yes. And then we cut to then we just cut to the, the screen pulls out. Everyone else is just sitting there. It's like, look, why'd you have to keep make those guys live? That's not what happened in real life. This film sucks. We're not doing this commentary. Love it. Oh, George, man. you're the man. You're the man. No, wait, I'm sorry, you're the wolf. You're wolf, yes. Hello. I see what you did there. Meanwhile, I see what I'm you the resident there. homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking awesome, ELH. That was a lot of fun. That's a cool that system. was amazing. That's I loved cool it. System. Oh, I'm sure our Telsorian's going to look back at this VOD and go, what the fuck was he thinking letting them do all this? And I'm like, fuck it. It's Christmas. Let them have fun. <laughs> you know, right? Uh, shockingly, it worked out. I mean, yeah. we sort of had a bit of shades of Die Hard in this. I mean, Die Hard's I mean, a Christmas little bit. movie. Yeah. I can't believe how incredibly well prepared we were for this plan. <laughs> I mean it it worked out pretty well. All right, YouTube, this is where we say goodbye. Twitch, of course, you're sticking around for a lot longer. So uh good night, YouTube. Bye YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, Thanks YouTube. for stopping in.